we were going to try to address that. Um, because I don't, where it is currently is not our property, technically. Mm -hmm. Right. And our vestibule is probably somewhat of a bus shelter if people want to be waiting inside and... That's probably true. And then run. Yeah. Because there should be more of the... Um, I think now you can hear when the bus is coming. Right. Every time I try that, it doesn't work. But I can see why they're reducing <laughs> that line, too. Honestly, it's not used much. Well, for the students, yeah. it really is. Yeah. It could be, it's just rush hour. It's mainly mm -hmm. rush hour bus. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the other piece is um, signage. So we're getting further along in the signage project. We're getting near uh, some cost estimates. Mm -hmm. uh, so that will be coming up at a future board meeting. But um, I included that in your folders so you can take a look at what the signs are going to mm -hmm. look like. So these. Um, do you ever think of doing signage in Spanish? Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah. We talked about it briefly. Um, we oh, just we have a very small Spanish population, right and if we were Spanish speaking, if we were to choose another language, the one that would make the most sense would be Chinese mm -hmm. or Korean. Or yeah, right. You're ordering a So the thing report. about pardon? You're ordering a demographic report that breaks it down, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about this sign mm -hmm. is that it's um, the letters are vinyl, mm -hmm. so we can take them off or add to them later, mm -hmm. so that we can have some flexibility with that. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's a really great point, especially with collections, mm -hmm. to be able to have alternative languages. Mm -hmm. But at this point, we're not quite sure where we're going to need that to be. Right, and, and, and to use visuals when you can. Like, you know, some of these you can use a visual. There's a visual, and right. you uh -huh. can use a, some sort of symbol. Right. right. Just one little note. Um, if we do books down under, they would much prefer if we're going to talk about the wording, that it be books down under bookstore, because it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing to people. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a good point. idea. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and the thing with signage is the minute you put it up, something changes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's and what so that's why good. it's so hard to commit to signage because, yeah. you're, you know, something moves or So you need to have movable different. signage. Right. Yeah. Uh, seriously, yeah. So this is, this is good. Like I said, a lot of it is either, like with the directories, those are just, you know, templates we just put in and out, right. like those right. elevator directories. The hanging signs are a little more permanent, but those are still their vinyl letters. Yeah. So we can take the sign down, scrape off the vinyl, and put up new. So mm -hmm. um, the only ones that are really difficult to change are things like the emergency exits or the um, restroom mm -hmm. signs. Those are real more like um, imprinted so, on there. Right, and, and those should. don't change. And those don't, don't change, change. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So. Unfortunately. <laughs> So yeah, I was. Um, I like how bold they are, so that you can see them in mm -hmm. all of our, um, mm -hmm. you know, our more tan wood, but also that it uh, mimics our new logo colors, mm -hmm. and each floor has its own color. Mm. So if you look on the elevator signs, it tells you what that is. But the lower level is orange. Level one is going to be green. Level two is purple. And level three is mm -hmm. is the yellow. So that'll tell you if that that room is on that floor or it's or kind all of, of them are going to be the same in a way. on that floor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. When should they be up? Um, well, the, the, the we need to approve the placement and the wording of the signs, which staff is working on now. Mm -hmm. uh, then I need to bring it to you to approve the cost the of line, the installation. Yeah. I want to talk to facilities and see how much of it we can install ourselves and see mm -hmm. if we can reduce the cost a little bit, but uh -huh. we may not be able to install 100% of it, so mm -hmm. I, I kind of want to figure that out, um, and I'll bring, bring it to the February board meeting. I think it looks great. It would be so. uh, ideal if there was some sign somewhere that sort of had, you know, Chinese and Korean and Spanish at some point, just sort of feels knowledge enhancing, feels like... Like you said, maybe, maybe on the foreign language collections, I don't know how much 
you're going to be how much signage there'll be at the actual like um, in those not in those collections, but maybe yeah, so where at least we, those like at the end saying, oh, okay, here's where the Chinese books are, and have you know like just that part Chinese books or right, you know, or even you know French books or foreign cool. language books or something cool like that. Mandarin. Yeah, that's cool to see. Yeah, or a welcome sign in different languages. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's like that's a, a nice idea. Yeah, something Just like that. To know that we are a welcoming open community. To that. Totally. Mm -hmm. Something cool. If it's you have any librarians that speak, or the, you, the, the those, word for library in a bunch of different Well, right? yeah. yeah, that was something we just, we've been hiring for. We just hired a new, um, one of our substitute youth services librarians uh, speaks Chinese, speaks Mandarin. Oh, and nice. We, and we, we really wanted that because mm -hmm. so many caregivers come, like particularly grandparents. Mm -hmm. Like the kids might speak English, but the, the caregivers don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm very excited about that. Okay. That's One nice. of the things that you might also explore is that for multiple language information, that might be an ideal use of electronic signage or information resources mm -hmm. that would put that information up on a, a rotation so that it's not necessarily permanent as one language, but provides, the, for example, a welcome sign yeah. that could be electronic and be a part of, of the, the programming. It conveys the information, but it doesn't take up permanent space by itself. Right. That's a really good That's a great point. idea, yeah. Um, we're also, our new catalog has different languages. So being able to access our mm -hmm. um, oh, nice. collections in different languages, you'll be able to select that. The self-checks uh, like that have options of different language. Our coffee maker has different languages. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 where's the coffee maker going to be? Where's it going to be? The coffee maker? I know it has like this is a couple different question. languages, which is hilarious. So yeah, we're getting there. There's one Brazilian uh, <laughs> where, the, where the water fountain is. That area, because there's water there. Mm. Oh, okay. In the recent arrivals, there's a yeah. countertop. Right now, there's two catalog stations there. We're gonna move those and put the oh, coffee station yep. there. And it's, and really it's gonna nice. be like a curry. Right, right. I just I read yeah. about it, but with reusable pods, not the yeah. plastic and ones. I guess you could probably Compost bring your own pods. if you wanted to. I'm not but sure. But you buy them, so. They don't buy them, so I don't think they're going to be reusable, are they? Well, they're not reusable. They're compost compostable. Compostable. Oh, compostable, yeah. <laughs> so they're not plastic. Yes. plastic I just, cups. I have one question about the black color. Sure. For the, uh, I'm not sure that I like it, but I'm not sure what I would suggest yeah, as something else. Um, it's not warm, obviously. Um, is there any way, I suppose it would be an unnecessary expense to have a couple of these signs and put them up and see what they look like? I, what are, I'm interested in your responses. If, what do you think of the, the dark? Or does it not matter? Being easily seen. That's, yeah. That was the big thing, yeah. Staff really talked about that a lot when we were thinking about this project was, our current signage is, is pretty, but it blends mm -hmm. so much yeah. into everything that you can't read it at all. And this is just a really... No, a bigger concern for me is the thin type that I can't. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, to me, the font is yeah. very thin as mm -hmm. opposed to a bold mm -hmm. in terms of readability. But yeah. Yeah. Make Here's another... Like if I look at in case of fire, elevators are out of service. And granted, it's small, it'll be much bigger, but it's very thin. Yeah, it is. That's a bigger concern to me than the black. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a books down under, too, without needs a bookstore, if this is a template at all. We, we should change that to books down under bookstore? <coughs> yeah, well, I, I made that. Down under, did you? Okay. Did you say store? Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, Just say bookstore, bookstore, book bookstore. Book no. And then uh, this is a little book random. Book but, um, did, was there ever any ever been discussion about like if there's a market for a cafe? Like if we're gonna have a Keurig, like is there like has the board ever discussed it or has it ever been? Yeah. Ever? Many times. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. 
yeah. every yes. long range plan since we'll 1985. <laughs> I should have just asked you, right? <laughs> and and the problem is the space and libraries space that have tried it. Many of the libraries that have tried it have abandoned it. Yeah, that's um, feeding you. Um, books down no. there. Yeah. It, we, the, books are the model that works. seems to have worked best, though I haven't looked recently to see if it's still operating, is to have someone come in and yeah, run it I for know. you. Right. Because you don't really want to get into that yeah, for sure. business. Mm -hmm. right. but, but it is yeah, books, books uh, perceived as competition. Mm. For coffee shops yeah, near. An idea. Well, I just meant maybe the Rock House would do it. Like and our hours aren't great. I mean, yeah. like for a coffee shop, well, we don't so, open till so nine. It's very clear. The um, bookstore that keeps the name. You know, so is, is that where you're going to There's a here? certain amount of clear. volume that you want. But but the whole idea with having the eating area right. that we just talked about getting the furniture for is bring your donut. From your donut place of so choice, easy. or and there's several I can recommend in the area. <laughs> Get your coffee, and then go I sit over there and yeah. do your work. I so think that's, that's nice. It's and more user friendly. I yeah. mean, and then, and then the, you know. Yeah. I, I, I think that's okay. I appreciate the direction. Yeah. I would just say we, we might think different. about like that metro model where they want to keep the book see if the Rock House name. might be interested. Something we're thinking about. Or vending machines. Some so libraries have be, that as well. Yeah, right. Like, you know, I think the yeah. issue of food in the library and is the something that will just continue to be a discussion. Uh, I'm for it. So. I'm pro food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the pro food caucus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so should I finish this again? Um, so. I'm so sorry. Oh no! Just, like, just one, one idea I had was I, I like I know what Jan's saying about books books down under bookstore. Yes. But but I was thinking we could do bookstore down under, and we could make the T O R E and bookstore a different color so that the books down under you know we don't lose that identification. Jan's going to check with the books down under. Right. The friends would need to. Yeah, but but, but that like way that, at least but... it becomes it comes clunkier if you have to add a whole another word even though the word. I and it seems it. less repetitious in some way. Exactly. I don't know yeah. why yeah. to put the bookstore first. That sounds. But if it says bookstore like down bookstore, under. Bookstore down. Oh, bookstore down. Bookstore down under? down under, and you'd have the T O R R E in a different color, so you'd still have books down under. Or, or you could have it vertically down. But like, just the idea is not to change the size down of the under, signage. And then bookstore. Yeah, the integrity of the sign would stay the same. You just have to add a few more letters to clarify or that it's a bookstore. Bookstore. You know, kind of sell. There could be a clever way to make. That. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's well, part of the communication department. That's something to talk to the friends about. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, so space planning, we talked about that, that I'm proceeding if, uh, just to investigate this idea, and I'll bring you some more next month about our progress on that. Um, I hope you saw the nice winter scene that is on our computer. Mm -hmm. I saw it on lab. Instagram. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. You know, part of it is I would like just to bring in a lot more uh, community artists to uh, create space things for us in our mm -hmm. space. That'd be nice. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I foresee that we could rotate that between different kinds of artists, and um, there's lots of room for experimentation and creativity there. Um, we're investigating the Library of Things model. We have a task force working on that, and we're compiling a list of uh, things we want to circulate. So mm -hmm. if you have ideas on things you'd like us to circulate, let us know. Binoculars. Um, binoculars. Yeah. Right. Electric cars. <laughs> Good idea. Uh, I like that one. A, uh, I hope Jacobi I pronounced this right. A more... Is it Amor Tolls? Amor yeah. Tolls. I, I think I, I know it it's right. different from what you think Moscow. it is. I'm going to get yeah. it right yeah. when I introduce him, but I'm very excited, gentlemen in Moscow. I think you're right. Yeah. I think it's Amor Tolls. Amor Tolls. Yeah. Um, we have our winter reading club. I encourage all of you to join. We're allowed. That's why I wasn't sure. The, the oh, yeah. of course. Yes. I, I, I used to do it, but I stopped when I was a trustee because no, I thought no, I could. No, no, you please. must do it. Oh, okay. All right. I've taken Where's it to my condo. Second, yeah, downstairs in the reference area. Okay. Yeah. This is exciting. Uh, fiber. I've yeah. talked to um, I, our IT about fiber because we had so many outages this past few months mm -hmm. and just constant internet outages. Mm -hmm. And fiber all is, for this. Yeah. Fiber uh, is so much more reliable and it's mm -hmm. faster um, and it's, you know, Cool. Yeah. Kind of the gold standard for mm -hmm. internet access, and because that's become such a core service, I am recommending mm -hmm. we proceed. 
Um, is there any downside to the fiber network at this point? Expense. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. But yeah. It's, but it's the cost it's is significantly cost. less than it used to be. That is true. And it will pay for itself in terms of its mm -hmm. efficiency. Yeah. yeah, and people will love it. Yeah. 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 Um, so I just wanted to alert you that we are turning, we have an automatic attendant on our phone system. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to continue, we will have our switchboard operator and um, they are here most of the time, but we have run into some staffing issues on and off, mm -hmm. and this allows us to... I've called some of those staffing issues, yes. <laughs> So this allows us to have a backup should someone need to run to the restroom or something. So, <laughs> so that's, what, that's what we're doing with that. Uh, we put up the survey about Sunday hours. I don't have the results yet, but I will share those with you when I receive mm -hmm. them. Uh, we're also asking for input about the landscaping project and that's in the lobby. Mm -hmm. The conference is Friday and Saturday. I hope to see you guys there. Yes. Um, we are get, bringing food in. Uh, the noodle is catering mm -hmm. one nice. day and Scandia. Scandia is catering the next. Okay. So uh, we try to go as local as possible. Mm -hmm. Have a yoga coming in, um, yoga instructor coming in to stretch us out. After yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> uh, also, and we're going to get mailing crowd. <laughs> mailing oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Saying this all over industry. Yeah. Coming 